Hello. 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 How's it going? What's going on? Uh, it's, go uh, it's, it's, it's going over here. It's it's going. It's going. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to you ready to do this? Sure. All right. Let me ask you are are you on your phone or are you on your headset? I'm on my head, so you need me to get on my phone. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like you're underwater over there. Okay, is that better? All right, that's a lot better. That's Ill. Ugh, that is a lot better. All right, uh, but I use that because when I'm rocking around the house, picking, doing stuff, it just <laughs> it's just it's just yeah. a lot easier to 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 just have your trucker's headset on. At all times, huh? That's not the one I have on. The trucker headset would have been a lot clearer. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Nah. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. What's going on, everybody? Lockout, man. Back in the building. I am not in the truck today. It's a little dark over here. Don't, don't it look little dark over here? I got a little bit of sunlight coming in, but still, it is good lighting. No. No, the lighting is not good. I agree with y'all. The lighting is horrible. <laughs> but the sound, I know the sound is great. The sound is courtesy of my new Rodecaster Pro. So I'm hoping you guys like that. Well, I am back again with another interview for you guys. This young lady has reached out to me and said, yo, I like what you're doing. I want to come on and share my experience. And I'm like, okay, who are you? Let's put the hands together and bring in Mother Trucking Mom. How you doing today? I'm good. What's up, listeners? All right, all right. So uh what's 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 your situation right quick? I, I we we've been trying to get at each other for a little bit, but you said something. Uh, you, you said something in the text that uh, that 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 you sprained your ankle or you broke your leg or what? What happened? I broke my foot. I broke my foot unloading a truck. Oh, you broke your foot. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Okay. All right. So for my listeners, well, I've been doing touch freight. Oh. I've been doing touch freight. So. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what all right, we'll get into that in a hot second. Hold on, right quick. This this lighting is not well. Uh, I really don't have no good lights around here. Hold on, right quick. Hold on. There we go. That's that that'll work a little bit. A little bit. Ah. Uh. Okay, that a little, yeah, that's a little. Okay, okay. All right, that that'll work a little bit. Uh, okay, we're we're back. Technical difficulties. I had to go and turn on the light to get some, to get at least a little bit of light up in here. All right. So for my listeners that don't know who you are, man, let them let them know who you are and where you come from. Um. Well, my name is Danielle. But on YouTube, I'm better known as Mother Trucking Mom. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and this is where I've been residing for the past however many years. <laughs> I've, originally, I was born in Arkansas, but Dallas, Texas is my home. Okay, okay, that, okay, Texas. Hey, shout out to Texas, man. You guys know how I feel about Texas. You got I, I don't need to go into details. I really don't. You guys know how I feel about Texas. I'm from Cleveland, but my heart is down here with you guys because y'all support the brother. I really do appreciate it. All right, so let's get into it. How long you been driving? I've been driving for two and a half years now. I'm on three. Okay. Did you get your did you get your license through a school or through a through a trucking company? Um, I went through a trucking company through KLLM. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, FFE, you know they have that KLLM FFE. Okay. How was your How was your experience with them? You are Are you still with them or? <laughs> no, I'm not still with them. But um, the the school is good. Like they um, 
they're really good teaching teachers. They have really good teachers or instructors. Pretty much, they're they're all pretty much down to earth, and you know, can, they give you some real some real experience. Like you can tell that all of them have been driving, or they have drove, or you know, they've done it for a long time. So most of them are uh, they're really cool, okay. but they were uh, they were good instructors though. Okay, so since this the school part of it, how many people how, how many people was in a was in the class with you, and how many people made it out? Uh, in the class, we had like like twenty people originally. Then you know, then the drug test uh, results come back, and it went down to about sixteen. And then I think from there, we probably had like twelve to. 12 to 14 people actually passed. But as far as staying with the company after they came back from their OTR, from the OTR training, they're six weeks out on the road. Um, I think probably three or four people stayed after that. Oh man. That three or four people, including yourself. No, I was the first one probably out. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So, you, <sighs> so you got, so you went on here to get your license through uh KLLM. What was the, um, what was the uh, the school part experience was like for you? Did uh, did you have to get your did did you get your permit while you was there, or did you have to get your permit before you came there? I got my permit while I was there. You get your permit like the first you the first week of class or whatever. You probably get your permit within the third like the third day or so. You know you uh they they you, they kind of give you the book and they'll go over the book and stuff with you and read um you read you read part of the book and they show you the parts to study and then you go take your test for your permit so, they so did. we we did it like within that first week okay okay was you so when you went in there and uh took your test for your permit was it was it was it done in the first go around or you had to go a couple of times i did not pass the general knowledge the first time the general knowledge i had to take it again but like uh Everything else I passed the first time. Okay. I got I got every endorsement, so I did everything. Okay. On, besides the general knowledge, so, I, so, I bombed that one. So you say you got every endorsement, including including the passengers? Oh, I didn't do the uh, excuse. I didn't do the uh, passenger, but I have my tanker has met um, triple double. Okay, so the yeah. so the hazmat the hazmat you had to you had to go through a little bit more hoops on that as far as getting the hazmats, but um, how was it when you went to go get the hazmats? What what was the uh, um, experience? That was like? probably I didn't take that test probably close to the end of a uh, class, but um, you have to study a lot. You definitely have to study for that, and um. Uh, once the, I mean, it wasn't hard because if you study, you pretty much, you can pass. You just have to know your hazard classes and, you know, read it. That's all I can really say because that's what I did. I made sure I read. I made flashcards. I went to that CDL prep app. Mm -hmm. They have uh, a lot of questions on there. They help you study for the test. And a lot of those questions are on the test. So I recommend the CDL prep app. Okay, for the hazmat, most definitely, most definitely. All right, so with KLLM, you 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 went out with a you went out with a trainer, right? Yes. How was your experience with a, with with the trainer? Was it a male trainer, female trainer? Well, with KLLM, uh, when you go out OTR, they only send you with the same sex, oh, so. Okay. They don't send. They won't send you out with a trainer of the opposite sex. And I think, like when I went, I went. I uh, I, I went to class my first. It was uh, the fall of 2017, and I think like right then, that's when they um when they had changed it to where they you only they only send you out with the same sex. And it was due to you know you know trying to keep any sexual harassment down and stuff okay. like that. So. I think that was a good decision to make. And I think all companies really should probably do that. Yeah. There's, there has been situations with, uh, with, with other drivers that's, uh, that's been in situations with, uh, each other and it didn't turn out good. 
<laughs> Didn't turn yeah, out. Yeah, I've been seeing a couple of I've seen a couple of these. You know, I follow that one guy a lot, and I was watching a lot of his videos, and I kind of saw how that unfolded. It was unfortunate. Yeah, it, it was it was very unfortunate for him. Again, like I said before, you know, I said again, you know, never let nobody mess with your money. And I guess you know he wasn't thinking with the with the right body part. So the right head. With the, with, the, with the right head. He wasn't even thinking. All right, all right. So uh, you went out with a female. How many weeks you was out with a female? And how was that? We were out. We were out uh, the first. You know, we have, well, we have to do six weeks. But the only thing I did not like, you know, it's, you know it, it is what it is. You have to go out with your trainer schedule. But see, she didn't have children. Her husband had passed away, so she was single, and she didn't have any, you know, a reason to go home. And I went out during the winter, and it was like going into Christmas and New Year's and all that, and she didn't want to go home. So I ended up being on the road in, during Christmas. I stayed out, I think the first time we stayed out for the, all, the whole three weeks at first, and we did three weeks, went home two days, and went out the other four weeks it was oh. supposed to be three but she was trying to put stretch it out okay was was she <laughs> trying to, to what was, was she trying to stretch it out to take advantage or was she trying to stretch it out just to make sure you got everything um i think it was uh, i don't want to i ain't gonna talk bad about it because we're still cool now um she's uh i i think she just wanted to get some more money she was like we can make we can take this one more load back to Chicago, go to California, then go down to Texas. I said, "Oh no, nah, honey, we going home." It was we were in Georgia at the time. I was like, "Uh, uh-uh. uh." Okay. You know, because I had already missed Christmas. My son is my oldest is in the army, so he actually had to come home for that Christmas, and I was not able to be there. So I was oh. not. I was already, you know, yeah, you irritated. Kinda, yeah, you was kind of tight about that. <laughs> Yeah, I was. I was very definitely kind of tight about that. Being did you very, did you very. did you let her did you let her know or did you let anybody know that you was uh that you needed that time off? I t- I told her, and so she knew I was she knew that I was ready to go home. But um, I had talked to my son, so he already knew I wasn't going to be there. But you know. Said she felt like I had already missed it. I should go ahead and stay out anyway. No, nah, that's. But I mean, after after I felt like she was taking advantage of the situation, I did call and I, you know, after I talked, you know, because I have talked to I talked to her before I talked to somebody else because I'm a straight up person and I have no problem speaking my mind. And if I feel like someone's taking advantage of me, I will speak up for myself. Exactly. So, you know, I said something to her, you know, and then it was like once I felt like, okay, she's trying to ignore me, she she was trying to take advantage of the situation, then I called, you know, to to the student services and I let them know. I was like, hey, I've been on the road now past my six weeks. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to go home. I don't so, know. So, you know, they, they, I, I don't they know. brought us on in. I, I don't know. I, I think you should have, you, you should have. I think you should have probably. Well, it's all said and done now, but I, I, I just think at that time you probably should have called uh, the fleet manager and let them know, like, hey, you know, Christmas is coming up. I got, I got family that's coming in, and I really need to be with them and all like that. And I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure that somebody, somebody, especially if you kept the foot on the gas about it, somebody would have got you home. For Christmas, so I'm so sorry that you was able to. I mean, that you wasn't able to uh, spend time with your son, especially being that he, you know, he came on for the holidays and you wasn't there. So that's uh, I know yeah. that I know that kind of that kind of hurt your heart a little bit. Um, so you yeah. was so you was able to rock out with her, uh, able to finish up. You was able to uh, quote unquote upgrade. So right. Since KLLM paid for your, you know, paid for your licenses, what was your obligation to the company and did you fulfill it? The obligation was supposed to be, uh, <laughs> the obligation was supposed to be uh, for a year, mm-hmm. you know, once you go in. But they did say you had the option to pay for it 
but once it came down to like, okay, well, I just want to pay for it, and they they really wanted you to stay and drive. They didn't want you to really pay for it. They wanted you to stay. But um, the problem is, once you get back, like you know, once you if you're in class, and like I told them, I at the time, I wanted to be regional because my daughter, like my oldest, he's 21 now, and my daughter is 19 now. But at the time, she was uh, a senior in high school, so I wanted to be. And then I have a, a, a seven year. He's seven now, but at the time, he was five and she was what seventeen, about to be eighteen. So I wanted to be h- close to her because I wanted to be close to home to where I could be there for her senior activities. You know, I had already paid for the package and stuff like that, but I wanted to be there for the prom. Right. You know, she was in the National Honor Society. Right. She, you know, what I'm saying, my, you know, and I'm, I love my kids, and I really try to make sure that they are, you know, that they know that they're supported. And I pushed them, you know, I pushed them hard. So I wanted to be there for her. So okay. I let them know, like, initially when I first started, I was like, would be, I asked if they had regional. So with my recruiter, she was like, oh, yeah, they have regional. You'll be able to pick once you get back and upgrade. She said you'll be able to decide if you want to be regional or go line hall. Or um, it was another option, but it was uh, plasma. But. You know, when when I got back after I did and I did my upgrade and everything, but, um, what, 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 yeah, what, yeah, when I got in the office, mm-hmm. it was that was the kit. They were like, "Oh no, you, we uh we don't have regional." I said, "Well, that's what I agreed to when I started. You know, when I started and signed up, mm-hmm. that's what she told me that I would be able to do regional." And they were like, "Well, no, um, you upgraded. We got you online hall and da da da." And I and I just wasn't. I wasn't going to do it. I told, you know, I talked to a couple of people in the office and um, before I left, they couldn't fix it. You know, like they, they didn't get it together. But by the time I walked out of the school and got in my car, because I, I say it's, I say probably like five to 10 miles away from where, where the school is at, because I picked that one because it was close to my house. I could, you know, come home, cook dinner for my kids, you know, go to class, come, you know what I'm saying? I was able to do everything I needed to do and not miss a beat at home. So that's the reason why I picked it because I knew I would be able to still be there for my kids. Right. But um, by the time I walked out of the office and got a, got home, I was in class. Or I was on the, on the phone with somebody from Snyder uh, starting my uh, thing and setting up my thing for orientation. Okay, okay. Because they couldn't give me what I wanted. Okay. So so being so that you uh I did not fulfill. Yeah. So being that right, you so I did not fulfill that obligation. So being that you bounced from over there, did they are they coming after you now for, for the amount of the uh school for your license? Yeah, they put it on my credit. Oh, okay. Now they don't they didn't uh they what they were telling us in class, like if you don't finish you'll never be able to get another job. Uh, in trucking until you do this if you if you quit this school or if you don't uh if you don't drive for the year you'll you won't be able to work anywhere else and it's not true you know but that's some of the stuff they were telling us in class but um you know they did try they did put it on my credit but like most companies if you uh if you go to another company they'll pay for whatever your tuition was you know if you go to their if you end up at their company they'll pay for it Okay, that's what's so, up. Cider did have that. Uh, they did have that tuition reimbursement on there. All right, that's what's <laughs> up. Yeah, some companies will turn around, especially if you do, um, if you do the schooling and you don't fulfill that obligation. <laughs> I know that. I know that. Um, I know that. A, uh, I'm not sure what trucking company that was, but they they actually filed suit against another trucking company because of the because of the students decided to you know opt out of their opt out of their obligation for that year or two. You know what I'm saying? Because of mm-hmm. because of whatever situation that was going on with them at that company, and they just felt that you know, hey, this company is perf- uh, pilfering pilfering. Is that a word? I'm going to use it. Though. I like it. Pilfering students from the other company. <laughs> so, but uh, in your situation, you was pretty much, 
I don't I don't want to sound so harsh, but you was pretty much lied to. Would would that be correct? That's how that's how I felt too. And that's exactly how I felt too. Okay. I felt like if they're not keeping up their end of the obligation, why should I? Okay. See, because that's, that's not up. the that's not the what they brought me in on. That's not the 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 intention. Like that wasn't like when I came in, that was not supposed to be what I agreed to. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So. All right. So, uh, okay. So two years, you, you two years in, you was only there for like a, for like a hot minute. So where are you at now? Where am I at now? Yes. I, I will tell you, but now we won't tell nobody where I'm working. Uh, right? Okay. No, you don't have to, no, <laughs> you don't have to, I, I feel it. You don't no, have to I let, feel, you don't have to yeah. let them know. But uh, you you yeah, are currently give me no money. You you yeah. are you are currently with uh with with another trucking company though. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what is? Well, let me ask you this: you don't have to tell you don't have to tell the people what company that you're at, but what experience you needed to come into this particular company where you at? Um, for this one, I had to. It wasn't a uh, they. They wanted you to have like a hundred thousand miles or a year of experience, which I was kind of just short of a year. Okay. But they, I was still able to get back in or get in anyway. So what you was doing before trucking? Before trucking, I worked in manufacturing. I was a, I was a machine operator at Frito Lay. At Frito Lay. Yeah. What the potato chip company? Yeah. What kind of machine operator that you need to be at a potato chip company? The one who operates the machines that makes the bags of chips. <laughs> <laughs> like you think the bag, the chips go in the bag by themselves. <laughs> uh, how long? How long was you there? Uh, Thirteen years. Thirteen years. Wow. And you uh, was there any? Was there any particular reason why you decided to step out, uh, step out of that and jump into trucking? Um, I've always liked trucks. I've always, my dad has drove my whole life. He's probably, he's still driving. He's like 60 something. Okay. So it's kind of like I have, it's kind of, I want to say it's kind of in my blood. Like I love, I love trucks. My, my brother drives, my dad drives. My cousins drive, my uncle drive. It's just like us, uh, the thing. So it's a fan. So it's a family affair over there, huh? Yeah. Okay. I okay. just, I, and I just, I just like it. Like you know, with with uh, working in manufacturing, it was it was fine, but I think I got to a point to where I was just ready more to be more in control of my own future, my own destiny. Okay. And um, you know, you just get tired of somebody always. I, I think I don't have a problem with authority. I do. <laughs> but um <laughs> I, I I got a problem with authority. That's why that's why for damn near damn near fifteen years I, I, I haven't worked. I, I did the I did the hustle thing and I had, you know, the entrepreneurial spirit in me. So I owned it a couple of couple of spots and all like that because I had a problem with authority big time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially, no, <laughs> especially when somebody is younger than me. I'm like, you know, I'm like in my 40s, yeah. and I got somebody. I got a, I got a, I got a teenager telling me what to do. Like, bruh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. I, I have a problem with that. Uh, what would you wish you have known before you got into trucking about trucking? What, what, what you know now versus what you, what you probably should have known then before you got into it um what do i wish i wish i would have known that people were so damn nasty <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> like you know just it's not uh probably because it's just i don't think i really just i really don't like i think most of the time is that i can't take my kids with me or I can't take my baby with me because my daughter now she's 19 she don't really need me like that but I have a seven-year-old 
So I have, but I did, I have found a company and I have found a way to be able to take them with me, mm-hmm. you know, so I don't, so I don't have to have that separation. But um, that's really, I guess, really all I wish I would have known is like, I just really couldn't take my kids with me. So being because a, that's probably the worst thing about it. So being a mother and a truck driver, how do you balance the two? Um, initially, like especially with being gone the way I was, um, it was it was the balance was I had I had somebody at home, which um which is my best friend. We live together, so she has a nine year old. I have a seven year old, and we co parent. So, you know, that's really what has made it the easiest for me to be able to balance it is because you have to have a a good support system. And so that's pretty much it is that support system, having somebody there that's going to make sure they're going to school and doing homework. And then when I come home, you know, I do whatever else needs to be done. So that's pretty much the, the support system. So definitely a good support system. You suggest that uh that all that all mothers or parents that's getting into trucking, they should all have a definite good support system, whether they're married or single, because I don't think it's gonna I don't think it's gonna work too much, you know, if you don't. If you don't. Especially right. if uh especially if the if if the kid is kinda kinda rough, I should say. You know, yeah, or running wild, you just letting them stay at this person house, stay over there. You know, you have to, you know, know who you're leaving your kids with, and and make sure. And then another thing is having, you know, after school care or daycare set up, so that way, you know, it'll make it easier on whoever's helping you. So, just, you know, it's gonna cost some money because daycare is not cheap. Okay, but, that's what's up. So. You said, uh, so are you, so are you, you know, not to get too personal with you or nothing like that, but are, are you single? Is the kid's father in, in the midst? Is he helping or what's, what's the situation on that part? Well, um, no, he doesn't help and I am single. <laughs> oh, okay. So, it, um, that's pretty much, uh, you know, he doesn't do anything. Okay. And I don't chase them either. I don't make them do nothing. See, yeah. that's how he feels. Exactly. He'll have to answer for that. Exactly. I don't, yeah, it is, I don't it's going to be. It. Yeah, it's going to be one time. It's going to be one time that you know all of us, all of us fellas. That's you know, that's sort of deadbeat. I don't want to. That's too hard of a word, I guess. Deadbeat, but it's going to be kind of hard. You know, it's it's going to come back. Too you can far. call him a dad beat because that's what he is, and I'm not going to be. <laughs> I ain't worried about it. <laughs> you said go ahead and call him a dad beat. Yeah, go and call, call a face. Nah, I, I, I don't. I don't, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I, I don't know, brother man. I, you know, like I said, you know, that it's too hard of a word for me. But my my son, luckily for me, my kid was was already was already grown. You know what I'm saying? When I started trucking, mm-hmm. so. You know, the reason why I got into it was, you know, was for, you know, personal reasons and all like that. But my son was already of age uh, before I got into it. But now that you're seven year old, you know, how 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 how's the feeling coming home, spending time with him and then it's time for you to go back out? How how's that feeling right there? Uh, Heart wrenching. (laughs) But I mean, like he, it was, it, it was, it was hard because you know, just used to having me there every day and all the time, and so I think that's why I was. I'm looking. I had been looking, which I like. I said I found something where I can. Even now, with 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 the current company I'm with, it's OTR, but it's not a true OTR, mm-hmm. and um. So it kind of makes it easier to, you know, be home. But um, that the feeling of leaving him is really heart wrenching because, you know, he's he's sad and he cries and they don't, you know, they don't cry. It just doesn't make it easy. But um, once I'm home, you know, it's all good. But <laughs> you're trying to leave. I try to. I really try to leave when he sleeps. So <laughs> it okay. makes it easier for me. 
Okay, that's what's so. up. So you say this is a it's OTR, but not a true OTR. So you so you home every weekend or? Yes, I like to go Oh, that must. Oh, okay, be, it looks nice. Let me see it. That must be them in the background. Oh, okay, you did a good job. I'm... So, um, your your other kid, you say your other kid is nineteen, right? Yeah. So she's she's in college right now. College, yes. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, all right, man. Mother trucking mom doing the damn thing for the kids. I like it. I like it. Okay, that's what's up. So uh, let's let's talk about what. Let me let me bring up this video, man. Let me let me bring up this video right quick. Oh, what happened? Let me bring up this video. Uh. Let me let me see if I can fast forward. Oh wait, oh that was just a thumbnail. That's oh you just in the video talking about it. All right, so let's let's talk about let's let's talk about what happened then. It says it says in the in the thumbnail in uh it says in the thumbnail that you was injured on the job. So talk about it. What happened? Well, I was uh at a yeah I guess I was at a. Uh, a major <laughs> now I was at a Walmart unloading my truck unloading the trailer and um it was a four-way when I was you know trying to get the boxes and stuff off of the truck there was a four-way like on the ground mm-hmm. and when I was pulling my cart past it it kind of got hung on the four-way so I pushed the four-way with my foot to move it out the way mm-hmm. and my bone just snapped ow Without even seeing that, I know it hurt. It was, it was, it, it didn't really hurt. It just felt weird. Like, you know, it felt like my knuckle, like I popped my knuckle or something, but it was like in the middle of my foot. So I knew it couldn't be, my, it couldn't be a knuckle because it was like in the middle of my foot. It felt like it. And then, like, almost instantly, I almost passed out. So I knew, I, I knew I, yeah, it I had sick. hurt it. It was serious. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like like I said before, it 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 had to it it sound without even seeing it. I, I I could feel it. I know that had to hurt something. Wow. So you uh after like after it did hurt like cause after you know I was when I then because then I couldn't step down and it it hurt really bad. So you uh you you touch freight for Walmart? No, it wasn't for Walmart. I was unloading a pro- some product that that you know that was going to be sold by Walmart. Yeah, but that uh, oh okay, but you so you a touch wait, let me get this straight. You a touch freight driver? Yeah. Okay, so that means you get you you get paid a little extra for touching the freight, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you so you so you being a touch freight driver, how did is that something that you wanted to do as far as as far as as far as touching the freight? Or was that something that you was that they just had available and you just took it because you wanted to be home every weekend? I went on I went on and took it because I wanted to be home, you know, because my daughter was leaving for college and was not Louis leaving. She was, you know, she was leaving for college and I um I needed to be home. So, you know, with the opportunity that came up. So I just went on and took it so I could be home. Not really something I wanted to do because it really sucks. Right. But um you know, I couldn't I was doing Snyder Bulk at the time and uh they really they didn't have anything there for me to be able to be home every day. So or you know anything close to that, so right. I ended up where I'm at now. So I was uh, I was bouncing around, you know, doing my uh, doing my research on you. I I found you uh, I found you on Instagram, and it looks like in one of the in one of the posts that you was getting the uh, that you was getting the cast off this uh, this video right here. Me, uh, yeah, when her hand slipped down the- <laughs> Yeah, I said, I'm going to cut my hand. 
<laughs> kind of felt kind of, kind of that little joke right there, huh? <laughs> yeah, scared me. Ah, oh, yeah, you kind of felt that little joke right there. So, let me see. This is the other picture right here. Is your foot outside of the cast? Is that it? It's super yeah. dry. It's Four. been in a cast for okay. two months. So, I'm not even gonna show you the bottom because. <laughs> I can imagine oh, what the, man, look, it I can, looks rough. Don't look at that. I can imagine what that bottom looks like. Uh, uh, oh, look at uh. <laughs> Wow. That 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 foot needs some needs some tender loving lotion. <laughs> it needed more than lotion. I had the skate boy. I was like, you remember how Martin and Shanae was in that video and she had that dog on thing and she was that's that's how that's what my foot needed at that time. It's soft now. Yeah, you said. But that, it said, was crusty. You said that foot needed some tender loving care. Man. <laughs> um, did the, being that, being that this happened while you was on the job, how long you was out? Well, I've been, I haven't been able to walk for like seven months. How many months? Like seven. Seven? Yeah. Wow, um, how how are you fit storing um on on finance? Is the company pay is the company paying you still or uh workman yeah, they workman's have to comp? Pay. It's workers comp, workman's comp. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so how much longer you got to do on your uh, physical therapy before you get back to work? Um, I have to go to the doctor on Thursday, so it's probably gonna be about another month. About another month. Probably another three to four weeks. Yeah, just trying to get the strength back in my calf muscle. Mm-hmm. All right. So, of course, you had to call up the company and let them know. So, I'm sure, was they able to come, send somebody to come and get your truck while you was in the hospital? I uh, I actually drove the truck back to Dallas. <laughs> oh. I, uh, I was. You know, it was it, it was automatic, so it was I didn't have to shift or anything. But um, because once I got back in the truck, I couldn't get out, so I really just didn't have a tool. Well, I could, I guess I could have waited, but it, but my, you know, what I'm saying I still was able to push the pedal and mm-hmm. push the brakes. So I drove back to Dallas, and then when I got back to the yard, they got me out the truck, but I, cause I couldn't get down by myself. Okay, and then they was able to uh, call an ambulance and then get you over to the uh, hospital. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they were. You know, they have they have a, a physical therapist like on on duty at the job. But um, she was kind. She was like, "Well, let me look at it." And she wanted to touch it, and I wouldn't let her touch it. So, and yeah, they they wanted. You know, they kind of try to keep you from right. You over your time. If they I don't can, want you, to you know, touch they'll it. try to deal with the in house. Like, I don't want you to touch it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. Oh, man. Oh, wow. So, like I said, man, that's uh, that's crazy. But I'm glad you're all right now. I'm glad you're all right now. So, you actually got it off. And uh, you are you walking around a little bit, getting stronger every day? Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's what's up. I'm just ready to start. I'm ready to get back on the truck. You say you. What I'm ready to do. You say you ready. You you ready to get back? Yeah. Now, huh? All right. It's nothing like the freedom of being able to just leave and drive around and you know exactly. not being tied to one spot. Exactly. All right, mother trucking mom. I got some. I got. I got a few questions to ask you. It's a. It's a quick question time right here on the on my podcast. You know, it's like a this or that question. So you ready? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Breakfast or no breakfast? No breakfast. No breakfast. Why? Why? Why you don't mess with breakfast in the morning? You know, breakfast is the most important thing of the day. I mean, I eat if I, but most of the time I just get up and get going. Oh, that's what's up. Cash or card? Mm, card. Ice cream cone or waffle? Um, waffle cone. 
What? <laughs> What'd you say? Waffle, waffle co- cone. Waffle cone. <laughs> <laughs> the waffle cone. You say waffle cone, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No ice cream waffle. I eat both. All right, all right. <laughs> Game of Game of Thrones or Sopranos? Uh, neither. Ne- what? I don't watch Game of Thrones. I never was a Sopranos fan. What? 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 Well, I, I could probably, I, I could probably understand Game of Thrones because you know Game of Thrones is is that show. But Sopranos, though, never a fan. Uh, uh, uh. Mm-hmm. I don't even, I don't watch Power. I don't watch Grey's Anatomy. I don't watch anything. I don't know why, but I just, I don't have. I just, I don't... I, well, I'm not sure about power. You know, I'm going to put power in my next, uh, in my next questions. But Sopranos, though, I'm, I'm, mm, I'm shocked, man. I'm shocked. McDonald's or Burger King? Mm, I, mm, I guess Burger King. Burger King. Yeah. All right, Bur- Burger King because of the the plant meat that they got. <laughs> the incredible burger no. or whatever they call it the the impossible burger or whatever that is i haven't tried it but i, I i'm a little bit curious <laughs> i am too i haven't tried it yet either but every time every time i drive past a burger king i'm like i got to see what that tastes like yeah i mean they over here talking about that's the, yeah. they over here talking about that's the real burger but it, it can't be it can't I'm taste only saying like a it's real a real burger. burger taste. It's not, you know, it's not going to be, it's supposed to be real burger taste. Right. But, I mean, how how healthy can it be if it's put into a meat form? Like, is it, ain't it still processed or something? It got to be. It got to be. It got to be fried. So how healthy is it? Exactly. Exactly. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Check this out. Mary J. Blige or Faith Evans? Mary J. Mary J. All day, huh? Aretha Aretha mm-hmm. Franklin or Diana Ross? Mm. Mm. I like mm. Diana Ross. I like Aretha. So I'm gonna go with Aretha. Aretha, that's what's up. What do you think? Did you did you see the All Star game last night? I did not watch the game. I watched the slam dunk contest. You, okay, so the, now the slam dunk contest was uh, Saturday, but uh, did That's you? Why, why I didn't watch the game though. Did did you uh, did you uh, hear? Did you hear or see anything about uh, about uh, Shaka Khan's rendition of the uh, uh, the anthem? <laughs> yeah, I did actually. I, I must have saw it on YouTube though. I like saw because somebody was making fun of it. I just I did, and it was. Like it was terrible. No, it just sounded like some hollering. Like, ah, ah. oh, oh, shit, what is? <laughs> uh, yeah, somebody was making fun of it. I only saw like a little clip of it. Terrible. You, I don't think it was that good. That great. You, they said she uh, probably did worse than Fergie. Hold on, right quick. Hold on. Let me see if I can uh bring it up. Right quick. <laughs> you gonna pull it up? I'm about to pull it up right quick. Can you see? Did you say anything? No. The dawn's early light was so proudly we had at the twilight. <laughs> I, I don't know. My mom's my mom's watched the game last night and my mom's was like, nah, sister girl shouldn't have sung that. <laughs> she said sister girl, yes. Yeah, she, <laughs> she I don't know why they want to go with no music. The music kind of helps you. If you don't mess, it, it'll help you. Get some, you know. Yeah, she didn't. Great. My mom said, my mom said, sister girl shouldn't have sung that last night, man. She shouldn't have sung that last night. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, while you while you on your way home fa- for family night, what do you do? Video games or board games? 
Uh, video games. Video games. So, you, so what what systems you rocking out with over there? Um, he had me playing with this Nintendo Switch. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So you he don't... has the Nintendo Switch, but we get to play all. He have a. I downloaded the thing with all the old Nintendo games. Okay. So we play the old Nintendo Mario Brothers and stuff. Okay. All right. Here's another singer for you: Prince or Michael Jackson? Neither. What? What? I, okay, hold on. I'm gonna take Michael before the nose. Oh, hold up, right quick. Hold up. Hold I up. want. Oh my. Hold up, right quick. <laughs> <laughs> hold up, right Look. quick. You said you said uh, neither. You say neither one of them. But you. But you. You I go back. Look. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We'll take the young Michael Jackson, okay? Oh, you ta- Michael, the young one. Oh, you you you, you want the one. young Michael? Oh, okay, so you want the young Michael, the young the young black Michael Jackson? That's the one you want? Yeah, not the old white lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't say not the old white lady. <laughs> yeah, not the old white lady. I'm not the young black man with the with the afro in the in the nose. <laughs> oh my god mm-hmm. alright soda pop I mean soda or pop what do you say soda soda all day huh Netflix and chill or Hulu and cool um Netflix and chill what about with, with which one okay which, which one you want to go with Netflix and chill all right, all right, all right. Coke or Pepsi? Hold on just a minute. Hold on just a minute. All right. Bye, Did you hear me say hello? Are you going to keep up talking? <laughs> no, you heard me. Uh, Pepsi. Pepsi. Now, yeah. see, me, I can't drink pop no more. See, I say pop. My fault. Soda. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. All right, all right. Well, Mother Trucking Mom, yo, you, uh, you, um, I was about to say something. Something was on the tip of my tongue, and I was about to say it, but I forgot what it was. You guys got to understand, you know, I'm I'm, I'm old. old. I'm sorry. I'm old. My fault. I get around. (laughs) I'm old. (laughs) <laughs> so before you got into trucking man who 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 was the people that 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 uh influenced you to get into it um the main influencers like my brother and my dad okay my brother um he he does his thing he has his own trucking company and he makes him some good money but he mainly does his work in the oil field though okay okay all right so, hmm, no, no YouTube influencers or anything. You, like my that? YouTube influencers, I don't know. Y'all look like, look like, oh my god. Let me see. Uh, I know for get down, baby. Um, for sure. Uh, like I mean, you're very influential. I appreciate I mean, that. I really have got onto your I, channel. I appreciate the that. Appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. And um, Phil Hogan, I like. I really like his videos. Makes sense. Um, Tucker Nene. Okay. She, okay. She does pretty good. Um, and Miss Diva, of course, and Sunshine. Her husband Jay. Okay. I like, like all of them. Okay, that's what's up, Miss Diva, Miss Diva Trucker. Yeah, she uh she out here doing the damn thing in sunshine, definitely, definitely. Yeah. What keeps Jay you? Rich. Jay, okay, Jay Rich, okay, okay, yeah. Jay Rich. Uh, what keeps you motivated? What what keeps you motivated to continue trucking? What keeps me motivated? Just the drive to just want to be my own boss to drive to know you know because there's so many avenues and um there's so much money to be made mm-hmm. so you know i think it's just the my just the drive to just want want to have my own all right a- well mother trucker uh what are other than uh instagram other than instagram and uh 
and YouTube. Is there any other uh, social media outlets that you'd like the listeners to know that you have? Um, no, I'm on Facebook, but it's mostly like friends and family type things. But man, but definitely, uh, but I definitely, you guys could catch her on uh on YouTube. I'm trying to bring that up. There, we, oops, wrong button. Trying to bring that up. Let me see if I got it up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. There she is. Mother Trucking Mom. So definitely go over there to her uh, to her channel. Now, she don't have that many videos. She don't have that many videos. <laughs> but, you know, she's, she's building a following. So go over there and check her out and make sure that you guys subscribe. As you see, I already subscribed. See? Unsubscribe? No. So we're going to cancel that. So I'm already subscribed to her. So definitely go over there, check her out. Plus her Instagram is right here. Mother Trucking Mom. Look at there. This, uh, let's see. There's one picture right here. Yeah. You got that. Getting your sweat on in the, in the sweat vest doing what I'm doing. I got that too. I got both of them. The, the sweat vest and the, and the, uh, waist trainer. Definitely got that. So we gotta, gotta stay in shape out here. Stay in shape out here. So yeah. Mother Trucking Mom, thank you for joining me on my podcast this evening. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you stay up and make sure you keep, you know, taking care of your family, doing what you need to do to take care of them and all like that. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you for coming on. Thank you very much. You have a blessed evening. What's What's for dinner tonight? Spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> See you you touching you touching my heart right there. Hold on, I gotta hold on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you touching my heart right there. Spaghetti. Definitely, man. So I'll I'll be over there. I'll I'll be over there. I'll be down in Texas. Uh I'll be down in Texas this week. So I'll be down there for that spaghetti. So save me some. I'll be coming down there to you soon. Yo, everybody. Already. Everybody, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. And don't forget to hit the all button. You know how YouTube do it. It's all about the algorithm. I I don't understand why YouTube make you guys do more than what y'all need to do. Hit the subscribe button. Boom. That's it. That's all you need to do. Y'all get the notification regardless. Just saying. But anyway, you guys, we about to get on up out of here. I am Lockout Men. That is Mother Trucking Mom. Hi. I had to give that a round of applause for her right quick. You guys take it easy, and I'm about to get out of here, and I'm about to come back at you guys with another video at a later date. Peace. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming on. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it too. You very, it was good. That was fine. <laughs> you're very welcome. You're very welcome. 